What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. There's been more and more information that has come to light now in the wake of uh, the Tucker Carlson and Fox News split. Uh, I think it's safe to say at this point, uh, based on what I've found out and what I've uh, been able to read, is that Tucker was indeed 100% fired. Um, this is based on the fact that he literally didn't know about it until minutes before Fox announced it publicly. So there is probably some very interesting um, other things at play here. I don't buy the uh, Fox News uh, spin leak that, uh, well, it wasn't the Dominion thing. It was actually the um, this Grossberg lawsuit where I guess he called someone a CNX Tuesday in a group chat, and now she's suing over it. I, I don't know all the details. <clears throat> Maybe there's something more to it, but that, that's what I know about it in particular. And so uh, there's a lot of really appalling details here as, as Fox News completely uh, just hemorrhages cash from the, from the stock market. So let's get into everything. I want to remind everyone, uh, if you've been around since last year, you know Coffee Brand Coffee does gift boxes. We just launched our Mother's Day gift box, not birthing person, Mother's Day gift boxes. And it's a brand new product where you get a uh, our 003 Colombian blend. And for the first time anywhere, a formal announcement in this video, coffee brand coffee candies, whether it's pretzel twists or uh, yogurt pretzels or even uh, some of our uh, sea salt milk chocolate caramel candies. And... We have a couple to choose from. We have this one. We have a favorite kid edition if you want to update to the favorite kid. Or if you know what kind of coffee your mom or grandma likes to drink, you can build your own and customize it and get, you know, if they like light roast or they like dark roast or they like flavored coffee, you can customize it, build it. It comes in a really nice giftable box. You can hand it to them right like that. I've got your Mother's Day covered and I'm going to give you 10% off with promo code MOM. I mean, I've got you. Make sure to order that today because in Christmas we sold out like in November still. Five takeaways on Tucker Carlson's exit from Fox News. Uh, first of all, uh, you know, some of the takeaways, of course, it deprives Fox of its biggest star. Well, duh. Conservatives lose a kingmaker, so to speak. I, I think that's probably true. Uh, but here's the bigger thing. A Fox News shift might be coming. This is according to The Hill. Fox's $787 million settlement with Dominion Voting Systems and other legal fights is creating what is likely to be a sliding doors movement for the network as it tries to put the aftermath of the 2020 election in the rearview mirror. The Los Angeles Times Monday reported that Rupert Murdoch made the decision to boot him from Fox and pointed to two factors that reportedly led to the decision. Quote, the ongoing discrimination lawsuit by Abby Gross Grossberg, a former producer from Carlson, and Mar uh, Maria Barto Bartomo, uh, and Carlson's recent coverage of January 6th. Well, who's who, is anybody shocked to find that out? I mean, the guy was the only person reporting on it from what I could see, other than YouTubers, by the way. Shout out to YouTubers that did. The only person uh, in mainstream media that did. Um, and also... The GOP loses its biggest critic. I think that that's one of the things that you know was most entertaining about Tucker Carlson for me was that he would actually call out the GOP. Um, Tucker Carlson and I agreed on a lot of you know political issues, especially when it comes to you know war hawking and things of that nature. You know, former Fox commentator Bill O'Reilly, who was also fired back in 2017. Um, these guys are all gone. People are gone now. You know, D Megyn Kelly is like a YouTuber now. Uh, this is who, <clears throat> by the way, this is who we have to compete with now as YouTubers. Multi, super multi-millionaires leaving these um, news networks and foraging out on their own and starting podcasts, starting YouTube channels. That's really what's what the future is for a lot of these people. Part of uh, what is kind of the biggest bummer here was that um, Tucker Carlson has responded now saying that he was completely blindsided and Fox News ouster while he and his staff were preparing for the show on Monday. That kind of is an important uh, piece of information, too, that tells us that, you know, he didn't know about it. 
he definitely didn't know about it. It wasn't something that happened over the weekend. It wasn't something that it wasn't a contract negotiation. It wasn't any of this stuff. It was literally someone from Fox News being like, you're out. After a decade plus career at the network, Tucker Carlson was let go just 10 minutes before Fox News released a statement announcing his departure. The abrupt nature of the ouster was echoed in the report by the New York Times, which said that the anchor was told Monday morning without any heads up whatsoever. The producers of Tucker Carlson Tonight were still planning the Monday evening's broadcast. Fellow former Fox News host Bill Riley said Monday on his show, The No Spin News. They were in the middle of that, O'Reilly said, of the planning, and boom, Tucker is history at Fox News Channel. That's how fast it came. I know he didn't want it to go out that way. I don't know, even know if he knows what the inner, inner decision-making even was. The ouster at Fox, followed by Fox's massive $800 million dollar settlement with Dominion Voting, ahead of which some of Carlson's private messages about the network were revealed in court documents Carlson was also at the heart of a discrimination lawsuit, and Fox Corporation Chair Rupert Murdoch was beginning to think his primetime host had gone too far in his January 6th coverage. In their statement Monday, uh, Fox News did not say why, and Tucker had, quote, agreed to part ways, but it sounds like they actually did not agree to part ways. Only that we thank him for his service as a host prior to that as a contributor. A spokesperson did not respond. Now, Carlson... Uh, apparently had no idea that his show Friday would be his last as he ate pizza with the Pennsylvania delivery man who thwarted a fleeting suspect. His final words were, we'll be back on Monday. In the meantime, you'll have the best weekend with the ones that you love, and we'll see you then. So he had no uh, notice at all. And by the way, uh, the, the left-wing media is already circling, pretending that, you know, they're saying, oh, Tucker Carlson's at Fox, but... Welcome on Russian TV, Mu Russia. Who even thinks about Russia anymore? I mean, oh my God, what a lame duck uh, uh, topic to even talk about. And then, of course, uh, the biggest worm of them all, uh, um, AOC literally creaming her jeans uh, at the idea that Tucker had been deplatformed. I I'm guessing he just got too close. He flew too close to the sun. Uh, especially with the J6 stuff, I'm guessing. He made the establishment media look bad. He made Democrats look bad. He made the president look bad. He made our government look corrupt, in my opinion. But you know who is to blame for all of that? <laughs> These people's own actions, right? And you have AOC um, doing a, a, like an Instagram lit thing to, uh, to fundraise saying, I kind of feel like I'm waiting for that cutscene end at the Marvel movie and all the credits have rolled. Then you see like villains, like hand reemerge out to grip over the end of a building or something, Ocasio-Cortez said, um, you know, writing, Ocasio-Cortez says so she's wary that Carlson will bounce back. So she's worried, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is worried that Tucker Carlson will get his First Amendment speech rights back. Now, you could say somebody firing somebody isn't the same as deplatforming. I think that you could make a nuanced argument there. He got fired, but he's still free to like his, use his YouTube channel or create a YouTube channel. I actually thought incorrectly yesterday that he already had a YouTube channel, which he doesn't. But he could certainly create a YouTube channel. He's free to do that kind of stuff and do speaking events. However, things actually get pretty interesting because as far as I understand it, uh, unless you know, there's more details, which again, if you're enjoying my coverage, please leave a like in the video and I hope that I'll earn your subscription. I work hard every day to try and bring you the five or six topics that I think are the most important of the day and I would never want you to miss one of them. What I understand is that there is a contract that is still being honored by Fox, which likely means he can't go anywhere right now. And however long is left on that contract, he has to sit there and languish uh, in obscurity. Maybe he could go do speaking events. Certainly he could use his Twitter. I assume he could do live streams. But in terms of like coming out and you know doing a whole new show or something like that, he may actually be off air for a lot longer than people think. Uh, so long that, hey, some people have said, hey, why not run, pick, take a VP spot? I don't know how, I'm not a very good like geopolitical person to say whether or not 
that would be reasonable or if he'd even want to. But the idea that, you know, he's been out this long, that he may, he may another year, year and a half before he can even return to any kind of a formal show. It'll be interesting. You know, if you look at Fox News Corp over the last five days, obviously uh, not good news down a full 3%. Uh, It wasn't doing amazing even before, but at the minute they fired Tucker Carlson, it collapsed and never really recovered. I mean, you saw some immediate fight back, you know, kind of like it cratered at $29 and 60 cents and it's, you know, kind of recovered, kind of recovered. And then right now it's at 29 76. So it's almost all the way back uh, at their billion dollar loss. Now there are a lot of people that are speculating, uh, you know, that Fox news, Rupert Murdoch may want to sell Fox news and that's why they're getting rid of kind of the big contracts, the rabble rousers, because remember, it's not just about they, they, these people could get fired at any moment. You know, the, the, these big media personalities, there's always skeletons in their closet. There's always like something that they could get fired for. It becomes when they have, you know, it's like with Don Lemon had 17 years of pay raises at CNN. You know, he was just too expensive. Tucker had a massive salary. Now he buoyed the entire Fox News network with 3 million viewers a night. But I mean, they're looking at the numbers and maybe they want to sell it or maybe they think he's a financial risk or, you know, there is always a little bit more to play at play here with, you know, money and things of that nature. So it's going to be interesting to see when we get a more formal statement from Tucker Carlson uh, and exactly where, what his plans are next, what he can even do. Um, In the meantime, uh, I'll remind everyone before, you know, get a jump on mother's day, We've got our gift boxes now that feature, this is a brand, you know, the world exclusive. We've got all sorts of, you know, we've got raspberry yogurt pretzel twist. We've got sea salt milk chocolate caramels. Uh, We've got all sorts. We've got probably four, five, six different candies launching with even more launching later this year. Head on over to coffeebrandcoffee.com. I'll leave a link to the gift box for Mother's Day. I've done two pre-builts. Uh, which make it easy, pick them up. You can pick the standard edition, which is awesome, obviously, or the um, favorite kid edition. Or if you know what kind of coffee, tea, or cocoa your mom drinks and you want to hand build it, you can also build your own box and use promo code MOM to save 10% off. Get that thing ordered today. It comes in a nice gift box, so you're ready to go for Mother's Day. You don't have to scramble around, and you can get them some really nice stuff from a company right here in America that stays apolitical, loves their customers deeply. Uh, I hope you'll check it out. I hope you'll uh, pick your mom up something special, and we'll talk to you again real soon.